So one thing I'd like to talk about is uh, pilot location in relationship to the drone while you're flying it. Uh, there's certain things that you got to keep in mind and mainly that is um, how you judge distance and uh, how you can see how close something is to another object. Now your perspective has something gets further away it's harder to judge how close it is to something else. So like when this drone is flying away and it's next to a rock and I'm, I'm photographing rock climbers on it uh, if I'm if I have the drone here and the rock back here it's hard for me to judge just how close that drone is going to get to that rock. But if I'm flying the drone here and the rock faces here and I'm in this distance, I can see that clear area right there that's next to the rock, between the rock and the drone, so I can get much closer. So a lot of times you want to position yourself in the right spot while you're flying the drone so that you can judge distance. Now the other thing you can do is um, you can use your spotter for that. Your spotter uh, could move over to certain locations, especially if you uh, have wireless communication with the spotter. Uh, where you both have headsets and you talk to each other, your spotter can stand over in a direction, let's say you can't get over there, but they can stand over there by the rock and tell you just how close the drone is to the rock. Now, the other thing you do is if you're next to a building or something like that, you can also use your drone camera to judge a little bit of distance because a lot of drones will have warnings on them that will uh, show if you're 20, 30, 16 meters away. Uh, so that sort of gives you an idea exactly how close you are to something. The other thing is when you're flying close to the ground, especially if you're doing a tracking shot where you're following somebody and you've got the drone close to the ground where you're trying to give an illusion of, let's say, an animal chasing them. Uh, you want to make sure that the ground is perfectly level, or not perfectly level, but pretty level, or going slightly downhill while you're flying. You never want to fly close to the ground as the ground is going uphill because obviously you can see the issue that's going to happen there. Eventually, as the drone gets further away and the ground keeps closing up, uh, you're going to end up smacking the ground. So you, you want to make sure and check out where you're going to be flying, especially any place where you're flying close to the ground. You want to survey that quickly first so that you know exactly what you're flying over and what obstacles to avoid while you're flying. Because you're going to be concentrating on the drone. You're not going to be looking at the ground so much. So it's real easy to just smack right into the ground when you're flying low if the ground is on a slight uphill. So always fly level ground, slightly down. Position yourself right when you're close to things so that you can see the gap between the object that you're flying to and the drone, and you probably have good flights every time.